So I want to put this dark world mess <laughs> behind me. I want to throw it back into the dark world and I just want to move on because this, this is getting out of hand even for a channel of my size. So I want to explain some things away because clearly just some people, probably those who aren't subscribed to the channel, because I know y'all there are subscribed to the channel, watch the video to the end. They probably didn't watch the video to the end. So let's just try and do this baby back BS again. Let's dive on into it, shall we? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain. Off of that subscribe button so we can continue to climb even further beyond the 1k ladder thank you so much for all the support it really does mean a lot to me doing my best to create videos as best i can i've been off of my cancer meds for five days now while i'm still waiting on my insurance company to uh approve it so that my pharmacy can send it in the fucking mail i i, I feel like hammered shit in case you can't tell so please smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, that bell, that favor button, all that good stuff. It really does help me feel a whole lot better. So I want to talk about the dark world controversy because I want to just put this behind me for the love of God. So clearly a lot of people did not watch the video to the end. They just got bad and were like, ah, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. You're an idiot. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, <laughs> someone posted a really funny comment that was clearly meant to be insultive and it was a good roast. I'll, I'll give them that. They're blocked now. So, you know, obviously. Um, someone put a kind comment in the comment section and I replied and I said, thank you so much. And then someone replied and goes, lying is a sin. <laughs> nah, bro, you're lying to yourself thinking that dark worlds are going to be good. Look, here's the thing. I specifically said in the fucking video, this is my humble opinion. This is just my opinion of a dude that played dark world back in 2011 and dark world hasn't seen any place since. In my humble opinion, in my humble opinion, <laughs> I think that Dark Worlds will be garbage. Now, someone made a comment on the video, and they said specifically, I think the deck will be better come January. Y you're making the point that it's not very good right now. I think it'll be better come January. And I'm thinking, am I in the Twilight Zone? <laughs> I specifically said in the fucking video, they will be better potentially come January or February when we get Photon Hypernova. Because once we get a ban list that reels in this Tier 0 format, I do believe that Dark Worlds have a chance. The other point that I was trying to make in that video with my blunt of a prick personality, which if you're new to the channel, this is just my entertainment side. Like, you know, if you watch any of my Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast episodes, like you go on the channel where the little search bar is and you type in Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast and watch those videos, that's more what my personality is on the regular. This is more like my entertainment, you know, WWE fashion, booty booty butt cheek, uh, you know, entertainment value. You know what I mean? It adds sustenance to the video, whereas there may not be otherwise, you know what I mean? And so the other point I was trying to make in that video with my blunt prick personality is that the deck is not good right now because of the fact that we're in a tier zero format. And again, you can play something like Danger Dark World, but I ask you, why? <laughs> because... How do you, playing that deck, functionally, how does it beat Tier Element? How do you beat Sprite? How do you beat Flunder? You have to ask yourself these questions with any deck that you play. I'm just picking on Dark Worlds because people want to crucify me for it. <laughs> like, real talk, I have not had this much hate in, like, I think, ever. And so... I want people to understand that I'm not hating on the deck just to hate on it. And someone even left a comment and said, well, now that the full set list is out, you must feel dumb, huh? And I'm like, no, I fucking don't because the structure deck is still garbage because, okay, cool. They reprinted the dangers. Why are you going to pay, at least here in America after taxes, roughly 35 American dollars to get three structure decks when you can get all of the stuff that's in there, singles on TCG player or card market if you're in the EU, for cheaper than what three structure decks would be? Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I'm not saying, like, you can't buy it and you're bad if you do. You do you, boo-boo. What I'm saying is, from a financial investment perspective, there is no reason why you should be buying three of that structure deck when the only real good thing in it is Skill Drain and maybe the Dark World, or not Dark World, the uh, Danger Reprints. Some of the Dark Worlds, I think, weren't that pricey to begin with, so it's just kind of like, whatever. And so... 
like there's no inherent value in that structure deck. I can understand if you bought three of the Crystal Beast structure deck, even if you didn't want to play Crystal Beast, because there was inherent value in that structure deck. You had so many good cards that you were getting so much bang for your buck. You were not only getting Foolish Barrel Goods is kind of on the lower end. It's just basically a good reprint to have because you never know when you may need it. But you had Cosmic Cyclone and Metaverse, two cards that could come up in a lot of different situations that are just good to have. But then you also got not only Ash Blossom, but Dimension Shifter as commons, guaranteed in the structure deck. That is fantastic value, especially when we're in a format where if you're playing Sprite, you're going to want to play 3 Ash. If you're playing Flunder or Crystal Beast, anything that doesn't need their grave, you want those D shifters to be able to beat that tier element matchup because that's going to be such a tough matchup until we get a ban list. So I don't understand why people are so pissed off about what I'm saying when I feel like what I'm saying is pretty damn accurate. Like, I'm not saying that Dark World is just not going to see any play. It's going to see some play even if it's at the local level. But the power scaling of a deck like that, when you compare it to even other stuff in the Rogue tier, like even Exosister, is just so much lower than everything else. You know, if Exosister is like the bar setter, Dark World's like down here. Like there, there's no comparison between the two. Like if you're looking for something cheap to play, why are you going to play something like Dark World, especially if you're just going to locals? Why are you going to play something like Dark World when you can just play Crystal Beast and just play Conclave Control? And you can use stuff like Dimension Shifter, and if you can't afford Cash Tira Fenrir's, you can just play fucking Ash Blossom. That's why I don't get people who are getting so butthurt and pissed off about my opinion. Because I feel like it's pretty sound decision making. Why would you spend $35 on three copies of a structure deck when for that price you can get singles out of the structure deck itself plus any other cards that aren't in the structure deck to play your dark world deck so it's not like i'm saying you're a bad player or you're just an idiot if you get the structure deck i have a blunt personality on youtube that i think the bigger my channel gets not a lot of people realize unless they find it funny which you should because that's the whole point <laughs> and so i think that that turns a lot of people off and i think that makes people instantly think i'm trying to insult their intelligence which is not what i'm trying to do at all i'm just trying to add a personality value to these videos that no one else is doing like you're not going to get this from robbie cole you're not going to get this from cali effect you're not going to get this from team sam because he's too busy having 10 adderalls and drinking three red bulls and screaming at the top of his lungs like an idiot i'm sorry team sam like your your content is just not for me and then you have someone like DZ, who I just believe comes off as a prick because that's just his personality in general on and off camera, whereas this is my on-camera personality. I don't really care for DZ much anymore. Also, he just makes Master Shit videos, so who cares? Master Shit's just a terrible video game. <laughs> and so, look, if you want to get the Dark World Structure deck, you do you, boo-boo. It's no skin off my back. What I won't stand for is people like, threatening me personally like that just gets you auto blocked call the cops you know whatever needs to be done i already had someone stalk my house if you remember i made a video about that a couple months ago i was like you know don't come to my home i don't know if that was youtube related or what but the point that i'm trying to make is that i don't feel that there's any value in this structure deck when you compare it to other structure decks in the past that have been great you know whether it's crystal beast for the reprints salamangrate the albaz structure deck you know, I've had some people tell me those aren't really comparable, but it's like they're still structure decks. They're in the structure deck family of products. So how can you say that they're not comparable when it's still the same type of product? You know, it's the same thing with the Trap Trick structure deck. Unless there's like some sort of amazing reprint in there that we don't know about yet, whether it's Evenly Match, Lightning Storm, whatever. I think the Trap Trick structure deck is really garbage too. Because even with a ban list, I don't think that that deck's going to be any good. It's a fan favorite because of hat format. A lot of people like hat format because it's like a, another type of goat control format. But the Trap Trick structure deck is, I feel like it's just like, what do you call it? Fan pleasing or fan, fan service. That's all it is. It's just fan service. I think the Trap Trick structure deck is garbage. I thought the Crystal Beast one was okay. You got more value out of it if you actually wanted to play Crystal Beast, but it was good for the reprints. The Outbat structure deck was obviously amazing. The Salamangrid structure deck was obviously amazing. The Dark World one, the support's cool, but I just don't see it keeping up competitively until January slash February when we get a ban list. So guys, please let me know down in the comments below. Is there something I forgot to mention? Do you think I'm just getting trolled here? I just wanted to make the points clear that I'm not hating on you as a person. You know, this is my entertainment on YouTube. Like, this is how I entertain people. This is how I've been able to get the following that I have that 
I love whenever people hate on me because then it's like, well, I have the following, you don't. So you do you, sugar plum. <laughs> so it's whatever. It really doesn't bother me much at the end of the day. I just, I want to make it clear more for my subscriber base, more for the people that I actually care that feel like I'm, in, I'm insulting them when that's not the case at all. I wanted to clear that up and make that point that at the end of the day, you can play whatever deck you want to play. I would just rather help you make the best financial decision, especially when you have so many people say the game is so fucking expensive anyway. And it's like, well, you just spent 35 fucking dollars on a structure deck that's liquid ass with a side of dog water. So like, hello. So anyways, guys, please let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.